guess the energy was still flowing very, very intensely through the body, even though I was really still. And in the stillness, all of a sudden, I When I was thinking about heartbeat and breath, I was thinking about the edges of life from experiences I've had with death and experiences I've had with giving birth and with Recently, I had this strange pounding in my chest. It was like my heart was trying to beat right out of my chest. My heart was too big. I sat down in the past. Something about when you start to monitor your heart. Choreography of trauma is inspired by uh, three hours I spent observing in the trauma bay at Sunnybrook a couple of years ago and um, just been really fascinated by how that team of physicians worked together to bring someone back from the edge of life. Hopefully, hopefully bring them back. Um, and so how they communicate, there's a lot of listening, there's a lot of repetitive actions, there's a lot of at the same time, like really gentle humor going on between those people in the room. And I wanted to bring that into a musical setting. And so I thought Christine with the Wild Element Choir, Improvised Choir, would be a great... Um, traumatic experience for everyone. <laughs> it can be traumatic. It would be a good container to explore those ideas and, and with the continuum ensemble. So going in and out of... Um, some complicated structures with some wild cards and I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Neither am I. You know, I handpicked people to be in this group who could really sing and who could read music and people who were, you know, had more singerly qualities. Um, so that we could actually do things and depend on them and, yeah. and stretch the piece a little bit more. Inside us is the backbone of it, uh, 10 stories that were uh, shared by members of the choir in Vancouver who commissioned us, D.B. Boyko's Voice Over Mind Choir. And their prompt was moments of awareness of heartbeat and breath. And so there are 10 really amazing stories that were shared. And the audience never hears the original uh, storyteller telling it, you'll hear that story through the voice of the singers, but they're following through earbuds that voice in all its starts and stops and inflections and, uh, you know, confusion and stuttering and whatever. So you might have 10 people sharing the same story simultaneously. So it's, it's an interesting technique of having someone else's voice and their story, their memory actually in your head, and then you're channeling it. I repeat that I gave no opinion one way or the other as to the nature of the disease. I did not say that it was not cancer. I only said that in the absence of positive proof, I refused to sanction dangerous surgical procedures. I repeat, I repeat that I gave no opinion. I did not say anything to the nature. I gave no I did not say that it was not cancer. I did not say not. It was not.